Hey everyone, Forever Chia here, and today I want to give y'all a few blessings around Georgia State University. But even before I get into that, I just want to thank everyone so much for like telling me how much that my videos have helped them throughout their journey so far at Georgia State University. I've met so many people and I'm so happy that y'all are watching and that it's helping you all and I hope that you encourage others to watch as well. So thank you all so much and I hope that y'all continue to share the love. Okay, so getting right into it. So hidden treasures at GSU. So basically what I want to talk about are things that I didn't know about my freshman year at Georgia State that would have helped me like so much. Like there are certain things I feel like, wow, I was like really stupid not to know this or like, I mean, cause I know, I'm pretty sure that most of y'all know about some of this stuff by now, but my freshman year, no one told me. So I had to figure out somewhat on my own. So I'm just here to tell y'all before y'all end up like me and wait until the whole next semester before y'all find out about these hidden treasures. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first hidden treasure I would like to talk about is the bridge in between student center, between the student center, like Unity Plaza and Library Plaza. So like, if you get off the bus, like get off the green route and you're already in front of the student center, if you keep walking and go down into like underneath that tunnel, you're instantly on the other side. Like you're over there by the library, you're over there by Langdale, you're over there by Sparks Hall, Classroom South, everything. I personally did not know this my freshman year. So like I would get off the bus and I would like take the long way around like I would go around to like where the bookstore is, cross the street, just to get down to um, go to like Langdale and everything. When I all this time I could have been making the class on time just by cutting through that bridge. Like the bridge has saved me so much amount of time. And like I know sometimes like when I'm walking like that way to get to my classes, people are like, "Yo, where's she going? Why she going underneath that bridge?" That's why we're going underneath the bridge, sweetie. Like. It's a time saver and like you don't have to go through all that hassle just to get to your class or your destination in time. Another hidden treasure would be the SGA office. So I know that some of y'all have classes, let's say math classes for, for instance, that require you to have blue books for your test. So like my freshman year, I didn't know that like I, did, I needed these blue books to take my math test. So like I just came without, you know, my book. So they made me go and like buy a book. I had to go to the bookstore and purchase it. I think it was like 50 cents. But why pay 50 cents when you can get it for free? So if you go to the fourth floor of Student Center West, that's where the SGA office is. And they have blue books for free and they also have free scantrons. They have your free scantrons and you can just go up there, get as many as you need and then just keep it pushing. And so they're free, you don't, you know, you don't have to go and pay for things that you don't really have to pay for. It's offered for free, so whenever you need it, just go up to the fourth floor of Student Center West and get you some. Another thing that I didn't know coming into GSU was that we get free Microsoft Office. Like, maybe two months before I came to Georgia State, I had purchased Microsoft Office, and it was like 100 to $200 for us to get it, but if you, basically, if you go on Google and you type in Microsoft Office, Georgia State University, the first thing that'll come up will sh take you directly to the download page to download the entire Microsoft Office onto your device. And you have up to, I think, six devices that you could add Microsoft Office onto for free. So don't spend your coins on Microsoft Word, Microsoft Office. You can get the whole thing for free thanks to Georgia State University. So. Go on ahead, get your typing on. Another thing I did not realize coming into GSU, even though I really didn't know, like need to know about this all the way, but still it would have been mighty helpful. It's like we have this site basically called iPort. I don't remember the exact link, so I'll just keep it in the um, description down below. But basically iPort is like a breakdown of each class at Georgia State University. So like, um, let's say you're taking a class in the springtime and you want to have like best professor. Yes, Rate My Professor could help you and give you a general idea of like how people, how students did in the class, but iPort will give you a more in-depth like breakdown of everyone's grades. So it'll tell you how many people made A's in this class, how many people made B's, C's, D's, F's versus Rate My Professor where some people be like, oh yeah, this is the best professor ever. And then some of them are like, oh no, I hate this professor. Instead of doing that, it just gives you like the legit statistics behind it so like yeah everyone could say this professor is great but still on the thing majority of the people had b's and c's and you want an a so you can go back and look and see which professors had 
like have the most A's in the class. And from there, you can go ahead and figure out your schedule and make sure that you get your A. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is this little bad boy right here. Your GSU ID can get you like so many different things. Like you can go to restaurants and get discounts, go to um, shopping outlets, get discounts. So like, I suggest wherever you go, just go ahead and have your access card with, um, not your access card, your Panther card with you, but because you can really get a lot of discounts just for being a college student. So save your coins, sis, save your coins, bro. Like. This right here has saved me and I'm pretty sure it can save you as well. Another hidden treasure that we have here at Georgia State would be Unity Plaza and um, Library Plaza. Basically, you can go out there on Tuesdays and Thursdays between like 12 and one and like all the organizations are out there so you're able to get like information about these organizations. Some have like free things they could give you. Also, if you're looking for a job, sometimes like jobs pop up there and you know, you can go and just sign your name and get more information about them later. But that's a great way to connect with people, a great way to meet new people, and a great way just to start getting involved on campus. Last but not least, go to football games, go to basketball games. Yes, like the games is themselves are already like, you know, lit, but still just being there, you get so much free stuff. You get t-shirts, um, what's some things called like card holders for the back of your phone. And like, I remember like one of the basketball games I went to last year, like they had like this, they, well, they always have raffles and especially like with um, the Georgia lottery, they come and sometimes, you know, you can win up to like a thousand dollars at times, things like that. It's really cool. But um, one time I went and I just signed up for something and I ended up getting a $20 gift card for Kroger. That was gonna pay my next set of groceries, you know, like, free money like if you just go around just you know don't don't just you know just completely shut out going to games and stuff because because you just going to games could definitely like get you some stuff like you can get you some money paraphernalia and just I mean you could even like win the lottery like come on you guys like I know y'all need them coins because I need them coins thank you all so much for watching and I hope that you've learned a thing or two about the hidden treasures here at Georgia State University I hope that y'all use these treasures to your advantage since I wasn't able to. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching and I hope that y'all stay tuned for my future videos. Have a blessed day.